Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm out in nature, a place that I absolutely love. And I've come across this tree and it's got like a copper tone to it. So that inspires me to do a new painting that includes copper. So let's go for it and let's see what we can create. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through some of my colors and some of my brands. So I'm gonna use turquoise. There we go, there's the, there's the brand. And I'll also, also show you the consistency that I'm using today. Some really nice turquoise colours. And I'm also going to use the copper that I saw when I was on my walk. And a gold and a sky blue to also enhance those other colours. I'm also using turquoise blue by Amsterdam. It's a little bit darker than the one I've just shown you. I'm also using Pebo or Pebio. I don't know how you say it. So um, I'm using an iridescent blue green. Gorgeous colours, very creamy texture. I'm also using the metallic iridescent gold. I love this gold by Pebio. It's a really rich, very luxurious gold. It's very, very nice. It's one of my favourite colours from them. Also using the iridescent copper. Again, so this is, this is the tone that's inspired me to do this piece. So when I was out on my walk, I came across that tree and yeah, it's this kind of coppery tone that I thought, hmm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a piece based purely on that tone, and then just to finish off, Arteza uh, Pearl Sky Blue. Just a little bit of blue within those colours. So they're my colour palettes. I will also link the colours in my description below. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay in my cup. And I'm going to use all the different tones. I'm going to put the copper in first because I'd like that to be one of the last colours that comes out. And as you know, when you're layering your cup, the colours that you put in last, uh, sorry, the colours that you could put in first will be the colours that come out last. So I do want the copper to take some dominance in this piece. So I'm just layering the cup now. And then I intend to just do a straight pour um, in the centre of the canvas and then what I'll do is I will stretch it out and I'll be looking at the colours and the tones that come out onto the canvas and then I'll decide where I uh, stretch the first corner and have a look at the overall composition. So I'm nearly at the top of my cup, I think I can get one more layer in and then I will get pouring. Okay, so I'm nearly to the top of my cup. One more layer. And what I'll say is stick around to the end because the design that you see now isn't necessarily going to be the design that I keep and stretch out. I do, I do work this, but I've decided to let you know that the design that you're seeing now isn't going to be the design that you see at the end. So I'd love for you to stick around to see how I change it and how I kind of change it up um, into a creation that I'm really happy with. Okay, so before giving completely the game away about me changing the design on this canvas, what I do when I kind of start out is I just stretch it out. Um, I get to know where my my paint is, if that makes sense. And although I've put it into a puddle, when I stretch it out, I like to know where the heaviest part of the paint is because that's where obviously the that the paint puddles are. So copper was an inspiration for this piece and I wanted to ensure that copper had a dominance in this creation. That was my main kind of my main aim and my main goal. So as I'm stretching out, what I want to do is I want to make sure that, you know, I've got some gorgeous blue tones in there. 
but copper was the whole idea for this creation. I saw that tree when I was out on my walk and I wanted to really use that tone and that colour within this creation. And I thought blues would really go well with it. But as I'm stretching out, I'm, I'm seeing some great lines, some great contours. Um, but I'm very, very conscious that that great big... Um, area of copper is really taking over and there's no real design within that so I'm going to stretch this out and then once I've covered my canvas I think I'm going to stretch it all the way back and let that copper um, fall off the canvas so it's not as dominant on this piece but you'll see in a minute once I've done that what it looks like and although it was a great design I wasn't truly happy. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's not, a, it's not a ruined design. It's not a ruined canvas. There are definitely ways you can fix it and change your design. Okay. So this is the final kind of design, the, the wet version. I'll take you in for a closer look from what I see. And I really, really do love the tones that I've used. That copper is absolutely gorgeous. And I love some of the lines that it's created within the uh, the blue tones within that that creation overall. Look at those lines there; they are just they are the wow lines for me, and I love them. But I really am not happy with the overall look of the design, so I'm going to change it up, and I'll explain what I do next. Okay, so. I love the base, but I'm not happy with the, the design. So I've made two more cups up using exactly the same tones and, and colours. And I'm literally just going to do a travelling pour on the canvas from side to side. Because I like the lines that I've created. I want to try and replicate that in this piece. And I want to almost kind of... I've added some white um, that includes some um silicone so i thought what i'd do is i'd try and get the lines and actually create some cells as well and in that way i think it's going to create a little bit more depth and more of an interesting pattern so remember if you do a design and you're not happy with it it's totally fine to change it up and try something else. And I've got to tell you, I, I don't want to ruin the end of the video where I show you the finished design, but I'm so much more happier with this design than I was with the original one. But I kept my colour palette. Okay, the copper isn't as dominant, but there's definitely the copper element in there, which is what inspired me to do this creation in the first place. Having all the different lines going from one side to the other has definitely made the piece for me more interesting and I really really hope that you agree there's some of you I'm sure that were saying no 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 that that design that original one you did was perfectly fine and you should have been happy with it but I think as artists we can be overcritical and it's really important to know when to stop but also important to know that you can carry on and change things up and try and do a different design and I'm so pleased I did I'd love to know what you think guys do you think I made the right decision do you think I ruined it and I should have kept the original design or do you think I've done a really good decision and created a new one I'd love to know what you think so let me know okay I'm I'm happy with this I'm not going to fiddle it anymore I'm not going to uh, touch it anymore let's show you the version from my viewpoint and you'll see that I've managed to create some cells that's obviously with the help of the white and the uh, it was literally two drops of silicone in that white titanium I've got some other lines I've kept some of that copper that copper is such a rich color and it's an absolutely gorgeous color with this color palette and I'm definitely going to be doing um, some more copper creations in the future so watch out for those but yeah I'm really happy with this I love the cells that have been created on the piece I love that l the lines aren't straight I love that the um, the movement takes you from one side to the other up and down that that's kind of how my eye follows it uh, but I'm going to show you the dried version and I'd love to hear what you think about that Here we go. So I'm sat out in my dining room 
and the light is really good today so I'm just showing you this in the natural sunlight all that detail and all that design on that one one creation you've got some cells some lines I really love how that copper's dried and actually there's a hint of that copper all the way throughout the piece in some of the smaller detailed cells right at the top just here and then as you go down you'll see some of the copper within all the lines um, and there is a block of, of copper as well but I really really like this design and I am so pleased that I changed it and went with my gut feeling about um, yeah, changing it up and and this is the final version so I'm really happy with it. I really like these colours. I think I'm going to work with these again and maybe do a different technique to see what kind of um, design that I can create. I love that bit just there. Look at those copper colours. I love that. Okay, so that is the dried version. I've had so much fun and the one big thing that I learned was if you're not happy with it, then change it up and try and just have a bit of fun and see what you can create. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.